A Leaf Learning Center is a district alternative education program. This is a campus where students come for committing a behavior incident on their regular campus. So they come here for a short amount of time and then they go back to their regular campus. Our job at ALC is to teach our students social skills, teach them relationship building skills, just teach them how to function in a normal school population. With our students, we see that when you're consistent with them, because they have so much inconsistency in their lives and other areas, when you're consistent with them, it makes a difference in their life. Eyes on Me comes to us every week. They're here every week, every Wednesday, coming and pulling students across areas. So we have someone who meets with our students in middle school, they meet with elementary and intermediate, and they also meet with high school group. They talk about real world things to just grasp their attention. I mean, they're in there on the board, drawing, you know, just kind of letting those kids know. And they're interested. They're in there and th those kids are solid for that good hour. They're making connections. And some of our students have even gone on to go to camps or they've been connected to other people that connect them to studio time and different things like that. So they're getting exposed to resources that they would not otherwise have the opportunity to get exposed through Eyes on Me and through their mentors. You know, I don't, I'm gonna be biased, but I love Alex here. Like, he's awesome. Like, when I say very professional, you know, in the text messages, in the communication, he remembers those kids. Like I said, I have these kids rotate in and out. And it's hard for me to remember them, but he remembers, he's like, oh, you were here last, you know, you back, you are, you back, huh? And they're like, yeah, mister, I made a mistake. So that's good, and those kids can just relate to him. And so that's why I advocate so heavily for the mentors to be here for them and to pour into them and seek out resources like this to bring to our students because it's necessary. It's necessary to break those cycles and give them what they need to overcome those barriers that impede them from making the right choices, making the right decisions, and getting the grades that they need to continue on and have a successful future. Actually, I was in retirement and I got a phone call and asked me to uh, come and take this property over. And I was like, I haven't applied for any jobs, but it was one of my old managers and he wanted me to take this job because he knew I could do what needed to be done here. There were gangs and prostitutes and drugs. It was just like something out of a war zone. And if you want to make a decision, to come back into a restored relationship with God today. Put one hand up. I said, I saw y'all walking across the street and I asked my leasing agent, I said, uh, who are those people over there? And she's like, I don't know. She said, but they do church across the street. I said, so why aren't they here? And uh, when you came in my office, I was like, God, you said you'd send me help. And he did, he brought you guys over. Eyes on me, they go out and they they get in with the residents, they make it personal, they meet them, they hear their needs, um, they cater to those needs. So they just don't hear you, pray with you, and leave. It's more like that organization gets involved. They become a part of the Villa La Jolla family. I got here one morning and you guys, it was like after your second event, kids were waiting for their bus. They're like, Miss Janice, Miss Janice, we're gonna get baptized. And they were so excited. And I was like, wow. Then I saw it affecting the residents and I saw a difference in the residents. They were like, oh, we really like this, you know? So it helped tremendously to keep the residents intact, knowing that somebody cares about us. Kids are out more. Less drug activity, less gangs, um, less shootings. Um, there's also less break-ins at the community. It's a different atmosphere, almost like a, a heaviness has been lifted. So I'll, all I see is growth, growth, growth. Continue to show them that God loves them, that God is here for them, and to let them know that somebody cares about you. You're not just a number. You're not lost. You know, you're not a forgotten because you're loved, you're loved by the Father above. My name is Natasha Paradeshi and I serve at The Landing. It's an organization that serves survivors of human trafficking and commercial sexual exploitation in Southwest Houston on Bissonnette, um, between 59 and the Beltway, which is a hotspot for prostitution and trafficking. I came to know about Eyes on Me through Bobby Herring, the founder of Eyes on Me. Um, we just had a conversation about our hearts for reaching out to those who have been exploited and over the years has grown into a partner 
partnership between Eyes on Me and The Landing. One of the major outreaches that we do is with Eyes on Me, Hip Hop Hope, um, on Forum Park four times a month. We're able to be out there and reach out um, for The Landing survivors of trafficking and potential clients that have been sexually exploited. So Eyes on Me has provided that place it is so critical that we get into the apartment complexes in this Bissonette area, in the Forum Park area, because the majority of the clients that we work with, the majority of the people that we see on a day-to-day -day basis, they're living in these apartment complexes. And so if we don't meet them in those apartment complexes, um, we're not gonna meet them. And so this partnership with Eyes on Me allows us to really easily get into those places and talk about the services that we offer, get to the individuals who could use our services. Um, that has just brought so much impact and relationship to our organization and the people in this area. Because when you build relationships with people, you can then really bring in that Christ peace that changes everything.